welcome back to the channel that is all about life skilling or your money back. Today I'll be showing you how to get the Krogdalo donkey gear that increases life experience by 10% for 30 minutes which is a sweet little added bonus. Not only does the donkey gear give a bonus to life skill, it also adds plus 11% onto turning which the donkey really needs. Now let's get into the Krogdalo's donkey gear and how to get it. Did you know there was two grades of donkey gear added called the Grenivere and Krogdala? These can be crafted after collecting enough materials by your workers just like horse armors. I won't be focusing on the blue grade, so if you came here to see how to make that Grenivere set, I'm so sorry. The Krogdala's donkey set however has the best stats on any donkey gear making it a need for just protecting the donkey. All pieces have to be worn to get the full set effect of plus 10% life experience and can be further enhanced to increase the stats. At full plus 10 enhancement, Krogdala has a total DP of 205, 160 damage reduction, 6.675 max HP, plus 8% acceleration, plus 25 max stamina, plus 8 movement speed, plus 11% turn, plus 8% break, plus 45 evasion, and plus 10 life experience. Finally, like with any horse gear, these can be made at Stone Talon, but before you can start making the gear, how do you get the materials? To start gathering the materials for the new donkey gear, it's best to have fishing at Master 2 for the two dailies. This will speed up getting the fish needed. Also having the lightstone combination nibbles will speed this up. If you need help speeding up getting the Master 2, be sure to hit the video in the top corner to see how I speed up fishing. With the new gear and dailies, a new area was added containing the two new factions at war with each other, the Papu and the Otter. To get started with this, open the quest panel, hit suggested, it's in the section labeled Great Expedition, Papu Grene, Papura, and Karnak. I butchered that, I know. I know you guys are gonna troll me in the comment section down below. I can feel it now. Once you have completed these quests, it will unlock the Lamut Gang's journal, which has to be completed too in order to unlock the dailies on Cornea. There are two daily quests here that can be completed for one coin each. These can be exchanged for one otter or papu coin. With all the dailies unlocked, you will need transformation skulls from each side or they will not speak to you. If you're using the other faction's transformation scroll, you will be attacked if trying to walk into the other side's part of the island, so be sure to switch before entering each side. Originally, there were 12 dailies that could be done solo and 2 co-op quests that had to be done in a group, but with the new update, all of them can be done solo. These are the new currencies that are used to exchange for the new iridescent pebble used to create the Krogdalo's gear. So now that you know how to get the new currencies to exchange, let's talk about crafting and speeding up getting those materials. In some ways, it's easy to get some of the materials, but in other ways, it's harder. The hardest parts of crafting the new Krogdala's donkey gear is the shards if you don't like grinding mobs, and the iridescent pebble since it takes a while to collect the needed papu and otter coins. For a full set of gear, the required amount of materials are 5 Krogdala's Origin Stones, 50 Garmoth Scales, 40 Wind Spirit Stone Fragments, 40 Earth Spirit Stone Fragments, 20 Water Spirit Stone Fragments, 15 Iridescent Pebbles, 20 Prairie Green Corals, 20 Golden Sun Corals, 25 Supreme Soft Hide, 20 Supreme Hard Hide, and finally 8 Pure Knot Crystals. Krogdala origin stones can be made by using simple alchemy on 25 swaying wind shards and 25 rumbling earth shards. These can also be bought from the central market too. Garmoth scales drop from most dragon grinding zones and can be bought from the central market. Wind shards drop from the Navarn Step mobs. Earth shards drop from mobs in Loopy Tree Forest, Navarn Step, and Tooth Fairy Forest. Water shards drop from the Poly Forest and Mashroom mobs. Supreme Soft Hide can be made by shaking Leather Glaze and Fine Soft Hide together. The same can be done to make Supreme Hard Hides. 
Golden corals are made by heating golden coral and resplendent topaz. And the green prairie corals are from heating resplendent emeralds and the green coral. Pure knock crystals can be made by heating metal solvent and knock ingots. Lastly, and the hardest of the materials to get would be the iridescent pebbles. To speed up getting these pebbles, besides the seven dailies, there are mobs on the island that can be killed that drop seeds, which are exchanged 25 for one token and can take a little time to gather enough. The final way is to fish in the center of the bay only. The drop rate is low, but you have a chance of fishing up tokens. This can take a while, making this a long-term goal. Once you have all your materials and a worker in Stone Talon Ranch, you can start working on making the one piece of gear that you choose. It will take some time and can be done from anywhere on the map, but when done, there will be a new piece of Krogdala's donkey gear sitting in the storage. Now, the other option to get this donkey's gear is to buy it from the central market, but with few trades and many pre-orders, this can take longer than the dailies. So, after spending months on collecting the materials needed and repeating those dailies, I hope you were able to get your very own Krogdala's donkey gear. When they said it wasn't going to be a simple thing to do, they weren't kidding. These pebbles can take months to exchange enough. For those of you who take the time, are rewarded with the best donkey gear you can get and yet another way to speed up leveling those life skills. I'm gonna keep working on getting my own set, but if you're curious about life skilling and want to see more, click this video here and I'll see you in another Black Desert Online video.